All right, let's do a full run. I'm gonna do a second full run. So if you guys want to hang out, feel free to ask any questions uh, or chill as we do the run. There's gonna be some things um, you don't know, some things you do, and also if you know anything and you're like, hey, here's something I've heard of that you might be able to do, please feel free to point it out. Um, I'm very interested in learning how this game can be improved. Yeah, online it was uh, definitely possible, and then they patched the game, changing the way online collision worked. So, uh, the, if you played on patch, you could no longer clip into most walls, and the ones you could were more likely to kill you than let you clip through. Because on the old patch, there was a way to, uh, clip through literally any wall in, like, ten minutes. And we rediscovered how to do that recently. Unfortunately, because it takes, you know, 10 minutes to clip through a wall, it's not really viable in the speed run. But if you have 10 minutes to kill, I mean, you can clip into just about every wall in the game. Like, uh, for instance, we're gonna do our first clip right here. Do I think the series will return? Uh, maybe. I think there's a chance, but I don't have high hopes. I, or, sorry, I don't have high expectations, to be completely honest with you. That was not a fast clip. You can clip much faster there. It's unfortunate that took so long. Yeah, dude. The rising memes. They're here to stay. I mean, it'd be cool to see the series come back. But I don't know what they would bring back. I mean, what would they do? Would it be Resistance 4? Would it be a, another spin-off? Would it be a, a remake of the first three? Uh, Sony owns the IP. They got the IP when they bought Insomniac. Technically, I think the licensing is owned by Insomniac and Burn or Bend Studios. Um, or not owned, but the licensing is at least in part by Bend Studios right now. But Sony has the final say on anything with this game. they'd be a remake well when you say remake do you mean like HD or because the game's already in HD do you mean like shiny what do you mean by remake because they don't really need to change the engine or anything the game holds up really well the only thing the first game I would do to it is give it a new uh, like color palette maybe but don't make it shiny like they made resistance 2 shiny and it was weird and then they made resistance 3 like a cartoonish sheen and it, it was weird they couldn't decide on any real consistency throughout this game's life Yes, fall of man, Oni. Fall of man. 
Do you wish they would? I mean, con compared to some other series, what what I think this game would be good with is maybe like putting. I don't know how much space a Blu-ray can hold. Um, Resistance Two is like twenty four gigabytes. Resistance One is like eighteen gigabytes. Uh, Resistance 3, I have no idea, but I would reckon it's probably 30-some gigabytes. So, if a Blu-ray can fit... I don't know, 20, 50, 80 gigs on it? 25 gigabytes? Okay. Hmm. If it's 50, that explains why there's a disc that has resistance 1 and 2 on it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, a re-release for PS5, maybe. I mean, I don't want them to put it on PC, but... I don't know. The only thing I think that's bad about the series is that it's trapped on PlayStation 3. I think that's the only real downside that the series has, because it really does hold up quite well by today's standards, even if, you know, there's some of the more questionable games like uh, Burning Skies and Resistance 2 out there. Bus yard, good map. Dual layered Blu rays exist. That's the 50 gigs. I see, I see. I did not know that. Does um, Sony use any dual layered Blu rays? Or do they only use single layered? MGS4 is delayed. Ah, I see. I just read what you posted above. Thank you, Jay. A good multiplayer map. I didn't play that much in Bus Yard. I my I preferred uh my my biggest memories were you know man. Uh, not Manchester. We're in uh, Somerset. I, I, I played a lot of Capture the Flag in Somerset. I played some deathmatch in like Axe Bridge. Um, but Somerset is pretty much the big one that has all of my memories now. Talking about maybe making a ban list in MGSR, huh? Okay, let's get the manip. Good.
You know what's funny? You know the amount of times that I've had people tell me that they don't understand why the Lark is a useful weapon? They just don't understand how to use the Lark and how it works and why, what the point of breaking the missile in the air is so that they can redirect it. Every time I hear someone say, yeah, I mean, the Lark secondary is just for making it stop in the air so you can re-angle it. I, I'm like, oh no, honey, no. It do be like that sometimes. Can you click please? That was a slow clip. We're getting slow clips this one. Superman no here. Dude, the mini missiles of the Lark are so good. I mean, you saw the end of last run. Just how insanely ridiculous. Like, you kill an angel in... Five seconds? A Widowmaker in five seconds? Alright, let's see if Grimsby 2 chooses to behave or not today. One can only hope. Nope. Okay, we get the weird annoying button glitch. Love it. Makes this level super fun. Really wish I knew what caused that. You know what? I'm just gonna go back and get the other health. I'm not doing this. That hedgehog might connect. Alright, good, it did. Well, it didn't hit him, but it hit everyone else. All right, we'll take that. That's a nice, safe way to do it. So this level that's coming up, it has a skip, but it's one of the only skips that we don't do in the speedrun, um, because the amount of time it saves versus the amount of investment is shockingly little, and it's really hard to do. But we do know a way to skip this entire level.
I think it's estimated to save like five, six seconds if you can pull it off. But it's so much time loss if you mess it up. Though it clips right there. Right in there, and then it goes around the back outside. I've played offline since I last played offline was I beat Crucible Knight um offline uh with Yuri and B Man and that was before yesterday's stream. Yeah, that makes sense. Nice, quick clip. Uh, come on. Uh, excuse me. Blah, 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 blah. Why are none of my clips working today, dude? So you said you knew that one. Uh, we're coming up on... Actually, I said that last clip we don't do. Um, but someone actually found a uh, clip coming up in the next level that we also don't do. Uh, it seems like 20 seconds, but he found a the guy who found it found another way to do it that saves like eight So it's an extra 12 seconds of time save uh, But it's very hard to do And if you fail it you lose like two minutes Whereas if you fail the slow way, you lose like 20 seconds. Uh, what bad game did you just recommend? The cathedral. Burger, it's labor.
Oh. Okay. The firefighter game. That's what you're on about. No, I am by it. Hey, Robin. Is this game fun casually? I'd say so, yeah. It's very challenging, but I would say yes, it is. Insomniac made a quite, quite hard video game. You looking to pick it up? Freaking Joffrey. Get out of here, dude. My lord. Sergeant Major Body Block. Good clip. Good clip. Good clip. That one was a good clip. We take that clip. That was a good clip. We like that. That was, that was a good clip. Yeah, you should be able to get this game for three bucks, uh, with shipping. Not good clip, not good clip. Sorry, I said with. I meant three bucks including shipping. My bad. I don't get a sealed copy of this game. This game has no collector's value. It's the only thing this game has is it's one of six PlayStation 3 exclusive FPS games. all this game has going for it. Haze is one of the six. Yep. PlayStation 3 exclusive, Robin. Falling there is going to backfire on me. It did not, sick. It is one of the six PlayStation 3 exclusive FPSs. Resistance 1, Resistance 2, Resistance 3, Haze, uh, Killzone HD Collection, Killzone 2, and Killzone 3. I know that's seven, but HD collection is just Killzone one, two, and three. And Killzone one is not uh not locked, so Killzone one's on PS2. Bole, bole. Bully, old chap. Bully. These hybrids. I say. Bully. Bully, chap. Bully. They're bully. Jolly good, chap. I say, these hybrids. Bolle. Bollocks. 
These bloody hybrids are a pain in the bullocks. By Jove, they just don't stop coming. Yo, goodbye. We got at least one Steelhead Steve. Yo, look at that, dude. We got a Sonic Steve and a Lightspeed Larry. My God. The only, the even remotely closest thing I could do to an English impression is Sir Hammerlock style. With like the mutton chops and the monocle. <laughs> the super archaic, no one speaks like that anymore, bruv. Good, I stunned him. Oh god, that oh wow. He super rarely. It is so rare that he ever fires a missile, and the fact that he did kinda scared me. Five second gold. We take those. All right, let's go for the Kobe. Ladies and gentlemen, we missed. The shotgun in this game is so good. It's uh probably the third best weapon in the game, if you want my honest opinion. Not not including grenades in that list. The grenades kind of change things. Yo, let's go. All right, how will the, how will this skip go? Here's hoping, first try. First try would be nice. How many tries do you guys think this skip will take? Two? Two's respectable, two, I can still, I can still PB on, on two, honestly. I wouldn't be happy with two, but you, I could PB on two. You gonna roar? You gonna slam? Are you gonna shoot? Double shot. Triple shot. Okay, buddy. You're being a little creative here today. Oh, yeah. I didn't kill him.
Praise be to the backlash grenade gods. One. First fucking cry. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we wanted. Fuck. Fuck. <sighs> that's actually kind of nerve inducing. I did not expect to get that first try. But it's I'm pretty happy I got it first try. Dumb, no dumb bad jumps this time, please. You know what? That's fine, we take those. I had checked behind me. Yo, we got a Michael Jackson. I checked behind me to see if I had triggered them. Oh, I, I did, okay. Ooh, that grenade didn't hit him. Okay. And I have to throw an extra grenade. Ooh, baby, you're making me fight for this game. Making me fight. Look at the I remember when I was first learning this game, and this was one of the hardest skips in the game. I resonate with anyone who has that mindset, where this is just a hard as hell skip. It kinda is. 
clipping out is one thing and then on top of that it's making that jump the jump is kind of scary how much does that save uh like four three and a half four minutes if i had to guess You don't want it. Yeah, the main game is like 15 minutes slower um, because you can't skip that low. So this game is split into two categories, any percent and no major skips. A major skip in this game is considered any form of intentional wall clipping uh, or hopping on objects to go out of bounds. So you can't clip through that wall which means you have to do the entire level um, the intended casual way. Which means you get the arc charger. Uh, but yeah, that it's a pretty big level. That has a lot of moments that are intended to introduce new stuff to you. Really? What the f***, dude? That was annoying. So it's a nice skip. Now, if you... So if you fail it once, you lose like a minute doing the clip. Are you... F Can I really not... No! I, that was a roller coaster. Of... I don't know how to feel about what just happened before my eyes. Uh, uh, What was I saying? And does anyone at all know what the hell I was saying? Because that just... Mm, my life flashed before my eyes. Okay, not three, four. Um, it saves like, it, sorry, it saves like one and a half to three. I don't have the actual timing of that level casually, but I mean, it, it, it saves over, at minimum, it saves over a minute is what you need to know.
Uh, his name is Nathan Hale. Uh, he doesn't be friends with them because they uh, don't want to be friends. They want to uh, eat his face and, and turn him into one of them. Um, the creatures in this game have an undying hatred for humans. I can't believe I got through that successfully. I should have died. Yeah, they added the story. The first game doesn't have too much story other than aliens bad. The second game actually added in, like, lore and story that the series really did not need. Like, it's a simple game, man. Aliens come to our planet. They want our planet. It, it doesn't need more lore than that. Yo, what the fuck was that fight? That was insane. But if we taught the aliens to love, the aliens are physically incapable of listening to love. Have you ever played uh, Warhammer 40k or do you know anything about the Warhammer 40k universe, Robin? The Chimera that gutted Northern Command came from this gorge. We're going to find just what hole they crawled out of, so we might marshal a little retribution. Uh, do you know, or if you don't, um, do you know the, uh, alien from the, uh, alien, uh, series? Teaching a hybrid to love would be the equivalent of teaching a Terranid or an alien, um, to love. Xenomorph, yeah. You are trying to teach a creature that only knows how to breed and eat to love. This is your classic end of the human race alien. There is no communication. There is only Sublimation. To become one or to kill. Join the hive or die to the fury. Trying. Oh, 
Come on. Thank you. This is not a fast clip, but we got through it. To be honest, we humans are good at killing anything that moves, so go and get them. <laughs> We're good at killing anything that moves. We're even better at killing it if it doesn't move. We'll find the Chimeran base faster if we split up. Take the other path. Give a shout if you find anything out of the ordinary. Or should I say when you find anything? Jolly good. What, what? Pip, pip. Cheerio. The bloody bastards. Dave tinkles me winkles. My mom's crumpets. I was about to eat those. I, yeah, I almost died. You came out with the mindset of what if the Wanderers were nice? I think you came out with the wrong mindset because the Wanderers were not nice. Ah, oh, I got sniped. Hey, Joe, what's up? What's up, Jojo? Don't stop. Stopping is the only thing that will lead to my absolute demise. Do not stop. I will die if I stop. It's a good Joe. You've been grinding MGS4 lately, Joe. What is this? Day 3? Day 4 of MGS4? Thanks for the raid, mate. How'd MGS4 go? Yeah, my sleep schedule's wrecked, Joe. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, I gotta do some RNG here, so... Here's, here's hoping, yeah, and, um, for cycle, for cycle, for cycle, for cycle, oh my, okay, now I'm actually kind of nervous. Oh my god, we got first cycle. Oh my god, we got first cycle, oh my god. Okay. Uh, so there are two RNG skips in the run, and we got both of them first try. That was the second one. So from this point on, the rest of the run is pure execution. Okay, it's not pure execution, but like... If someone's to blame, it's not the game for the most part. Ooh. Top deck, dude. Top deck is just like that. Remind me, are, are you still doing your strat or have you learned Sparty's top deck where you do the, the stun grenades? Slow octopus, hind spawn, wolf. Oh my god. And top deck got me killed and an alert on the second go round. Oh no. Don't know what happened on the Octo, but pretty much everything that can go wrong up there. Got spotted at the start by the sniper. I think it's, um, if you move a little too close to the, um, if you move a little too close to the, the sniper, um, while shooting your gun, um, or firing <clears throat> um, 
whatever it is you're doing, then uh, that sniper off top will see you. Now, if you were doing the middle approach and you got spotted for that sniper, I don't know what happened there. I don't think I've ever been seen by the sniper doing middle approach. Yeah, I mean, you know full well that uh, MGS4 is like the slightest minuscule off thing in MGS4. Alert right there. You, me, Sparty, Jag, we all know. You do one thing slightly different, and a boom, there's your alert for the run. Not a good Bristol. We got first try skip, which makes me happy, but Bristol 2 had a death on it because we got the really bad, uh, or we got the really unfortunate massive damage bug. Um, and then Bristol 3 just was not good. Robot battle! You know it. Well, the real robot battle is later, but... That's just a taste. Unfortunate that MGS4 trolled you today, but uh, it's nice to see you back. Are you just de-rusting for the sake of de-rusting, or do you have something coming up that you'd uh, like to be prepared for? Good luck, Godspeed. The sub two single segment big boss, I assume, is your ultimate goal in that game. What, didn't kill him? Okay. That is a very praiseworthy goal. I remember back in the days when Slade was admin and Slade was like if anyone gets sub to new game mgs4 big boss i will give them five bucks and uh he never paid out five dollars <laughs> Put it on the bounty board. It's been done like four times since he said that. 20 bucks to anyone who could get Slade to pay out his $5. You don't even know who Slade is, Jay. <laughs> Slade's before your time. Dude, Slade might even be before Joe's time. Joe, do you know, do you know Slade? Were you around when Slade was server admin? Score screen finished up there. 2-19-10. Oh man. That, you hate to see it. Slade is before your time, but you saw him run MGS3 and GDQ. Ah, good times. Yeah, Slade was a, Slade was a, a right English cut. So do the dragon just hard carry a lot of the yes the dragon single-handedly saved like 10 minutes on this run the dragon 
he, the shotgun is good. The dragon is like 16 shotguns in the palm of your hand. The dragon is the best gun in the game. Hands down. Oh, wait. Not that kind of dragon. <laughs> it might as well be that kind of dragon. It's that scary. All right. We're going to go for the uh, swag snipe. All right. We're going to go for the slow snipe because, man, streamer can't swag snipe anymore. Streamer's washed up. Yeah, and plus when I found out that um, the final boss is susceptible to the dragon and you can literally hit the final boss through the walls because of it, it was like, all right, we literally have to get the dragon because before the dragon, the final room was literally a giant auto scroller. Yeah, if you've played this game casually and re and or remember the final boss, it's intended to be you hit a button and it's this massive auto scroller that you sit through as the uh, walls protecting the final boss slowly lower. Um, yeah, not not with the dragon. Uh, the dragon goes through those walls. The devs forgot to make the walls dragon fire resistant, so you can damage the final boss through them. <laughs> that is exactly how I reacted when I found out you could do that. Fun fun fact, uh it the dragon is actually not the only weapon that can do that. There is another weapon. But uh it's the sapper. So yeah. You're not gonna beat the final boss with a sapper. <laughs> it's definitely on the broken side, yes. It's unfortunate that we got through in one, but we'll live. And the only stealth section in the entire game I gotta play this one safe now. Okay, I guess we're going back to old boy strats. That's unfortunate. I aimed my rocket wrong, so I didn't kill the stalker.
Uh, maybe. I lost a lot of time on that Bracknell, so I don't know. That was uh, the definition of not what you wanted to see. It's going to be a lot harder to PB because of that now. <laughs> it ain't going to PB with that attitude, mister. You right, you right. I mean, it could. I'm finishing the run one way or the other. It does not matter what happens. It would be nice, but like... This game is way too violent. Yo, we got one. Let's go. This game is a pretty hostile run. You know, like... I'm not going to pretend you have to be pretty good at this game to be able to speedrun it anymore. Like, at any level. This game is... It's already pretty hard casually. What the? Why, why is the Arc Charger guy there? Yeah, I'm quite low on dragon ammo now. Whoa, that is a incorrect. I did not gold by four minutes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Superhuman is bullshit. That is an absolute fact, sir. I think I missed, I think I walked around the trigger. Well, I'm losing time now. Superhuman, not only do the enemies do more damage on Superhuman, uh, explosions are a one shot. Melee is a one shot. Uh, there are more enemies and enemies do more damage on Superhuman. superhuman is annoying but it's not too bad um r2 super no let me represent r2 superhuman is very trial and error very trial and error which makes it not fun um r3 superhuman is uh pretty bearable For New Game Plus. New Game Superhuman is a tad tedious. Um, the only part of Superhuman that's real scary in R3 is the dropship fight. The dropship on Superhuman is just, uh, and cent uh, Central Park. The dropship and Central Park are the only parts, in my opinion, of R3 that are, like, really scary on Superhuman. The rest of the game is pretty, pretty okay. Um, yeah, Retribution didn't have Superhuman. It only had Hard, and Burning Skies, I think, also only has Hard.
Sir? 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 Oh my god, it wasn't fading, and I was like, why? Why are you not fading? How did I go to London? What do you mean? Oh, four, four seconds. I can't. That's, I don't know. Four seconds. That's fine. Alright. Hims. Yeah, they. The fact that they decided that superhuman, um, can have extra enemies added to it is is like, uh. Okay. You hate me, don't you? Please stop. Bro, moment. Here about this game that had a lot that had to add more enemies. Mode that was unbeatable because all the enemy, <laughs> because the enemies are one hit kill. I'm gonna have to reread that. I don't think I connected what you just said. I mean, the game is beatable on Superhuman, so. Your concern was beatability. It's beatable on Superhuman. I've done it. I've done it multiple times. You want to know how old this game is, Robin? This game predates PlayStation trophies. This game is a launch title, 2007. And it never got updated with trophies. Yeah, this game turns, I think, uh, 15 this year. Isn't that crazy to think this game is five years away from being retro? How does that make you feel that this game is five five years from retro? You remember enjoying Heavenly Sword? I thought it was Heaven Sword. Uh, either way, I know what game you're talking about. With the redhead girl. Err, uh, well, the big sword. I don't know if she was a redhead, actually. Something about her was red, like a ribbon or big hair. 
He had like that big hair energy or something. Ah, that, that makes sense that that didn't work. Yeah, it was one of those launch title uh, PlayStation games. Like, uh, do you guys remember, um, what was it called? Uh, Legend? Ruin? Something? You ride, or it, it was about riding around on a dragon, I think. Thinking about this game that had a animal enemies mode that was unbeatable because one enemy in a killed all enemies level always spawned out of bounds. Oh, damn. That sounds like it sucked. She had Nikki from Pandemonium hair. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Alright, Joe, if you're still here, this is the Rex versus Ray of this game. Anyway, yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. I never played Heavenly Sword. I never played the Dragon um, Riding game. The only PlayStation 3 launch title I played was this one. I don't, uh, and yeah, I didn't even get into Demon Souls until the Greatest Hits version had been released for it. I don't know if Demon Souls was I think Demon Souls was 2008 honestly but no Demon Souls might have been 2009 it had trophies but I don't know if trophies were uh, launch support or not could have sworn that Goliath fight was longer oh it can be that was that was one of the best Goliath fights I've ever had. It all depends on how much pressure you keep on the Goliath. Yeah, it was oh nine, okay. I mean realistically, if you think about it. Uh, with the advent of trophies, PlayStation 3 essentially did get a second launch, so any game that came out like 09 is basically a PlayStation 3 launch title, Cap. So that's the Widowmaker fight. What do you think of that fight? <laughs> one lark missile the answer to your question is one lark missile sir you were oh oh you ps1 okay yeah i was pretty young when the playstation 1 came out 
I don't know how old I was, but I was pretty young. I almost killed myself by firing that lark at me like that. Y'all saw that. Y'all saw a crazy speedrunner do crazy shit and almost kill himself there. Just want everyone here to know that. Alright, so here's the first angel fight. Good fight, good fight. <laughs> the power of the lark is no joke. I don't have high damage or high uh, ammo with this, so I have to be pretty conservative with it. No wonder the chimeras hit your ass when you're small, P. Shout outs to New Game Plus weaponry. Except, fun fact the Lark is a New Game weapon! They give you the lark on your first playthrough. How can you blame the Chimera for hating when he killed the strongest enemy types in one second? Uh, that also, that quick kill also applies to Titans and Stalkers. So, actually I killed four of their, um, biggest enemy types. The only thing that doesn't work on is Goliaths. Stalkers are capable of dodging though Which kind of makes stalkers moot, but yeah the Titan the angel uh, The Widowmaker they all melt What's going on in MGSR? What do you mean? Oh, they found another channel where you can add everyone? What? Another two people did add everyone? I see, I see, okay. I did see I got two pings, but I thought that they were pings for a different reason. Now I know that it was at everyone's. It's like, okay.
Yeah, I'm not really responsible for idiots who are adding everyone. As you can see, I'm mildly busy streaming a video game, so... So, ow, we're coming up on the double angel fight. What do you think is going to happen? All right, that was the double angel fight. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Again, I do want to emphasize I am playing on easy um, But uh, It's very similar on superhuman like it's still only one rocket on superhuman with good management <laughs> I'm here seething and molding right now Dude, the chimeras are pissed right now. Chimeras hate him. I'm not going to get to the control booth. The control booth is slow as hell. The control booth is a terrible decision. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy. Oh my god, I haven't PB'd in this game in a year. We got a 124 eggs, dude! Yo! How much is that a PB buy? A minute and 20. Yo! Let's go! As the tower fell, Khmeran creatures began to shriek and writhe on the ground. They died within minutes. We believe they were simply unable to survive. Oh my god, we did it. That's big pog, dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
Lots of practice, pal. Lots of practice. <sighs> wow, I did not expect to get that today.